world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Uh, but Chelsea, my God, I mean, can it be that, uh, you know, two weeks ago, this was one of the wealthiest, uh, most prosperous, uh, excellent football clubs on the face of the planet, and it is now literally staring into the abyss. Uh, my thought on it, Richard, would be surely the government... Uh, by all means, punish uh, Roman Abramovich, but not the fans of this club, not the club itself. Surely they must make provision uh, for this club to be sold uh, and to go into safe hands again. I, I would like to disagree with you, which is often the purpose of, of, of a conversation such as this, Kev, but I can't. I, I, I am extremely uncomfortable about the situation that Chelsea find themselves in. I, I, funny, I've just been recording a podcast here with Andy on this very subject, and it's an area in which you, 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 you tread carefully because it, it, it's an extremely emotional area right now. Look, none of us is comfortable with what the Russians have done in Ukraine, but what, the questions I have is what, why has it taken the British government this long to, to decide that actually, yes, they, they need to clamp down on Abramovich um, and, and other oligarchs associated with, with Vladimir Putin? I mean, a number of articles which leap out at me today, Jim, Jim White here in The Telegraph, um, the Premier League must impose relegation to show it has a spine. Sorry? Why? Uh, Matthew Said, who's been a long-term critic, in fairness to Matthew, of Roman Abramovich, a phalanx of Chelsea fans has acted as PR bots for Abramovich and Putin, he says. Um, yes, we've, we've all known that. But, but let's not get too carried away here. It's the triumphalism that really bothers me about what's happening at Chelsea, and that is that, that there are agents now circling in order to try to move players from the bridge to elsewhere. Almost certainly Russian agents, I would suggest, or those who have associations with Russia. Um, there are others advocating that Thomas Tuchel walk away, make the journey north now up the M1, M6 to Manchester. I, 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 yeah, there are fans of, of City and Liverpool gleefully rubbing their hands. This marks the downfall of Chelsea. This, this is not... Where, where, where the very blurred line is, I'm not sure. But, but yes, the government had to act. Yes, and I fully understand and endorse what they have done. But this, this is not just a Chelsea decline scenario that we're aiming for here, surely, because this is a very proud football club. It was a proud football club long before Abramovich came, and they weren't unsuccessful. Of course, they hadn't had the success that they have in that 19-year period, 21 trophies. All of them tainted? I'm not sure. Um, I, 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 I have my reservations about, as I say, the, the, the hysteria that goes with it. If, if I may, just one, one last article today, which is just absolutely brilliant. Martin Samuel, friend of mine, um, he makes the very reasonable point that, that this weekend Stamford Bridge hosts Newcastle, who are owned by the public investment fund of a country that's involved in a war in Yemen that has killed 100,000, displaced 4 million, and left a further 24 million in need of aid. And he goes on to say his words here, not mine, Saudi Arabia, however, are our friends. Our friends only kill the right people, or rather the brown people. And they are just numbers on a page, he says. This government tries to help its allies buy English football clubs through back channels. He's right, they did, Newcastle United. I, 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 all of this is beyond my pay grade, Kevin. But it, the hysteria and, 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 and the hypocrisy that goes with it I, I am being used by. I really am. I'm with you, Richard. I mean, I'm a Fulham fan. I'm a Fulham season ticket holder. It is in my DNA to hate Chelsea. I've hated <laughs> Chelsea all my life. But I do not want... I do not like to see this happening to that club. I grudgingly admit it is a great club. Uh, it is part of the British scenery and it must not go it must not uh, fade away and it i uh, there should the government should come up uh, should realize there's a difference between <laughs> roman abramovich and chelsea football club and, and all of its uh, fans and you know i don't think also it, right now that is a team up towards the top end of the premier league and we ought to be talking about the fairness of that competition it's in danger of losing players like aspilicueta it's in danger of losing rudiger yes. all these top players are basically saying we want to go they may have to go uh, in the summer 
are completely free. It's not allowed to spend more than £20,000 going to away Nonsense. matches, which won't Nonsense. get them much further than Canterbury. Uh, no. the, all of the, It can't sell merchandise. It can't sell tickets. Why is the club itself being so severely punished uh, as opposed to Abramovich, who deserves it? The, well, surely the government must do what it can to save Chelsea. I, I would like to think so. I mean, I, I read this morning that the club shop was emptied yesterday because they're not allowed to trade. I mean, come on. Um, I, 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 I'm entirely, as I say, concur. I, I, I wish I could find an argument with what you're saying, but I can't. Um, I, I think there is a very, very clear divide between, and I know people will come back to, yeah, yeah but look at the money he poured in and look, look at the success that they've had. That there are good football people at Chelsea, good football people that do not deserve to be put into a situation such as this. And there are there are many Chelsea fans. If football's tribal, look, we all enjoy another football. We all have enjoyed Manchester United's troubles. If we support a club that that I mean, in my case, Coventry, so it's an irrelevance, but Chelsea and and, and City and, and, and Liverpool, we we we've enjoyed watching Manchester United's decline. But that that's in a sporting arena. That's yeah, a very different yes. thing entirely. This isn't. This is in a political arena. And I, 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 I as I say, I, I mean, uncomfortable is the best word I can find, Kev, because I am with it. I, I understand. I understand, by the way, sanctions that should have been enforced probably the best part of 10 days to a fortnight back. Ask the British government why that was not happening. Um, you know, their, their favourites seemed to have escaped... Uh, in, in a way that now Abramovich has, has has not, but you know, and I'm not just this. The Tories, you know, Mandelson associated himself with with these guys many years ago. But if you're talking about Chelsea as a football entity, fabulous football club, proud football club, and does not to be deserved to to be run out of town in the manner that I I fear could happen. I, I mean, what's the back page of the Sun today? Skinsky. I mean, come on, that's yeah. we're better than that. Let's uh, finish on uh, an optimistic note. This is my proposal. What do you think, Richard? I think, I do genuinely think, I know it's not fashionable right now, but I think Roman Abramovich genuinely loves Chelsea. I think under the circumstances, he will allow it to be sold without him making a penny. Uh, so he will walk away. Uh, so if the government allowed Chelsea to carry on and to be sold on an agreement with Abramovich that he doesn't make a penny, uh, happy days, yeah? Yes. Uh, yes, or you could go one step further. How deep is is your love, Roman? If you care exactly. as much as I, and I'm with you, I believe also, then walk away. Yeah, that's that's my point. That's what I think yeah. the solution is. They need to talk yeah. to Abramovich and say, if you love this club, you have to let it go now, and yeah. then the club can be saved. In the meantime, I don't think these sanctions should be affecting the club's stewards, uh, the people who make the coffee, uh, the people Absolutely. who work in the cafes there. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, that, Absolutely. That yeah, so that's the score. Uh, listen, Richard, really pleased that you made the time for us. Thank you so much. Okay. 